Hey folks, what's going on? Welcome to another week one Necrodancer World Cup race. This one's going to be between Aquacats and Squega. And you can see Squega here finishing up a run. And Aquacats, he's ready to go. Um, with me, I got Red Ice Wind. How's it going? Hello. The Wolf. I'm doing Wonder. good. What about you, The man of various names. I'm doing pretty good. Good to you. Yep. Um, and of course, uh, Aquacats, he's already got a... Uh, uh, pretty quick 3-0 against uh, Fishy earlier. So he's got three points, but this will be Squega's first race of the tournament. That is one hell of an exit room right there. That is brutal. You take, yeah. Uh, <laughs> not, not what you want to see in an exit room at all. It's three golems. He's finishing up here. Nope. Yeah, who do you have for this race? Uh, you know, you got Aquacats, who's now he's done a bit of Coda, but Squega is very experienced with racing. Definitely. I think I've got my money on the uh, Aquacats, though. Yeah, I, I do too, although I have a feeling that Squega has got a good opportunity to take at least one off Aquacats here. Uh, they're definitely very skilled. Quite high level, I'd say. Mm -hmm. So, anything is possible. Indeed. Just finishing up his last run here, and then we should get started with race number one. Yep. A nice wee run from Squigger. Yep. Yeah, Squigger definitely wants to step up his game, but he's he's come across what. I, I would almost say that he's probably favored to be top two Aqua Cats. Uh, of course, the, the, that division also has Mud Joe in it. I don't think anyone's getting by Mud Joe, but. Uh, oh, it's definitely not. Yeah, Aqua Cats definitely has a good chance to get there. Of course, that, that division also has Oblivion as well. So, I mean, this is not a pushover division by any stretch. But uh, Aqua Cats definitely one of the stronger racers. And uh, as I was telling. Uh, Red Ice, before we got started here, Aquacats has the distinction of being the first person to clear Coda in a race setting. Now, to be fair, Spooty was not in that race. He was actually casting it. But still, to be able to handle that kind of pressure, you have to be a very good racer to do that. Yeah, Mars definitely a tough division to be in. And don't envy Swigga, that's for sure. Hey. <laughs> I'm glad I'm not in that group either. Not that the uh, not that the West is very uh, <laughs> very easy. <laughs> and like all of them, they're quite a good mix of players and stuff. Yeah. The, the West, of course, having Jack of Games and Ink Nun. Uh, those, those are two rough ones, too. <laughs> but I guess we're just waiting on Squigga to get started here. Um, yeah, the seed in. Yeah, seed is in. Alright, it's not showing off my screen. Alright, Yeah, we're, we're all battling for third, and I think that um, looking at the list here, I, I think that third position is wide open between the other six racers. I, I really think that this is going to be probably one of the closest divisions in the West. Definitely. Yeah, Chuck, both on five there, so. Yeah. All right. Squega still uh, taking a breather here before getting started here. I hope to change that paratroopa, just saying. Just <laughs> oh wait, I'm not I'm not up against you this week? Who am I up against? Yeah, I'm up Dude, against you. Betty. Aaron. 
G30. In fact, uh, me and you were the uh, last West races with this, uh, those ones. I'm, I, I need to get some points back because I embarrassed myself in the first race in this tournament. I don't want to do that again. I, I was very upset. <laughs> Two one units officially a mess. Yeah, pretty much. All right, here we go. We have our first race underway, and immediately we see a cracked wall. Squeg is going to open it up. It will be the blood shop. They both open it up. Um, it's an interesting shop. Aqua Cats is going really slow. I don't know if it's happening for you too. It's yeah. very hard to follow, but Squega is just fine. Squega actually taking the time to clear out that black skeleton closet. I can't agree with that. I, I, I think if you open that closet, you would get two hits in on the first skeleton, and then you're out of there. I because that is, for a six skeleton closet, that is 18 beats just stabbing them. That's all you're doing. So you kind of hard. much out back with the blood web, either. It is really hard to figure out what's going on with Aka Cats here. I, I'm going to check because this if this wasn't happening when I was looking at it directly. So let me just make sure that that's not an issue. And if it is, we'll try to do something. I mean, it looks like, yeah, it is a complete slide slideshow right now. It's, it is not my end. It doesn't look like... So hopefully, maybe between streams, we'll uh, get something going. I just noticed Aqua Cats is on 1-1. One, one. Um, and Squigger's already on the boss. Yeah, so uh, Aqua Cats maybe reset, maybe died. I don't know. Uh, it's it's really hard to tell. I can't see what's going on on his end. But uh, Squigger clearly with a large lead at this point. Yeah, I mean, I just skipped like 13 seconds into the future on Aqua Cats' side. So that's going to be a little hard to keep up with. We're going to have to... Uh, and and to, to be sure, I, I checked the streams before we started. His was rendering just fine. So yeah, hopefully this is temporary. But we'll see. I, this could be something, an issue that he's having. He might just have to bring his bitrate down. Because it actually is, it looks pretty good over there. So. That's a spicy noodle and squigger side for closing the boss. It doesn't take it. I don't blame them. Yeah, I mean, we, we clearly have to see the wind frame oh, do that. Yeah, yeah. But uh, now Squega, he's going to get a potion here. Oh, no, he's not. He doesn't have he doesn't have any way to get... He could have waited for the golem. Uh, if he's screen watching, he should know he's head pretty good here. He could have just yeah, waited for that dark golem. Oh, that giant armored skeleton. Yeah, that is not fun. Yeah, I'm not sure he had yeah. to skip the potion. Uh, Aqua Cats, I think he blood drummed in there to get the potion. So he's got the potion, and Squega does not. We'll see if that makes a big difference here. Um, Squega's still on the blood spear. He has not been able to get off that. Picks up a fireball spell. Look out! Oh, man. On the Ooh. edge of Condor Zoom, that dragon just barely visible. Ooh. That could have been that could have been disaster if he didn't see that. Uh, yeah. Going to the shop. What? Whoa! What is this? Squega taking the karate gi. Yeah, There's nothing wrong with the gi. Oh, uh, double damage, true, but the double damage taken. That's that's why yeah. I don't think about. It. He's gonna do the uh, he he does a uh, blood fireball there to get. Two quick hits in on him. And takes him out flawless. Up, but... And let's see what he gets here. He's gonna go with the blunderbuss. Round of applause for the blunderbuss. That is that is pretty good right there. I don't know, I'm just stuck with this spear. <laughs> oh man. That's so... the first time I've actually seen a blunderbuss in these races. I, I've, I've actually seen a, uh, seen one spawn in a couple races. No one's been 
willing to take it until now. So uh, that is also a four damage splinter bus. And meanwhile, just like that, we see that Aqua Cats is also on three one. But oh, he's got it all. But uh, notice Aqua Cats is missing something that he picked up, namely the potion. A weapon? The potion is gone. So oh. something happened where he dropped his potion. He is still on a base dagger as well, but he's got a ring of peace. So, yeah, this is going to be very difficult to tell. I mean, if, if this race becomes a close race, then uh, we're going to see... We're, we're probably going to have some issues. Uh, Square got getting off of that Karate Gi, so he's down to two damage yeah. on the Blunderbuss. Still somewhat decent. Yeah, I mean, it's still good. <laughs> yeah. The pirates are quite diverse, and to have to say, I'd rather have Swaggers mm -hmm. compared to Aquas. Yes. Uh, Aqua is still sitting on 3 2 after that frame update. Swaggers just about to exit 3 3. Mm hmm. It's going to be a deep he lose with a blunderbuss. Oh, that's delicious. <laughs> Although he's just playing it as if he has a dagger. No, well, until that point, anyway. It's getting a bit scary. But oh, he's fine. Uh, no problem. Here. Stabs the last queen and hits him a few times, and he will be off with a flawless. Aqua Cat should be joining him on deep lose very shortly. Uh, he's and he's got an obsidian rapier since we last looked, and some floaty boots. So, Aqua Cats nice. with a very good zone four build here. Um, I'm not sure this is something that Squiga will be able to come back from unless he improves his build substantially in the next floor or two. And the both got shield spells and fireballs. Mm -hmm. Very good. Aqua Cats pass up the map, but you don't really need it in zone four. Uh, it is quite predictable. You just go from one corner to the other. Yeah. About the only thing good it does for you is allows you to see which corner you're in immediately. Uh, let's say it's like a confused beats, but not that much. Squaga just blasting everything through. Both racers on 4 2. Hard to tell who's where. Um, well, we can oh, tell where Squega is, but... Oh, Squega taking a Telemonkey halfway through the level. You don't want to do that. Just kill the monkey at that point. Uh, he paid for it. He ended up in a corner he hadn't discovered. So he is... He's actually going to fall behind... Well, I don't know. They're kind of both on the same boss room here. So these two are going to drop down to 4-3. Uh, Aqua Cats, I'm going to say, is slightly ahead here. Let's say Squigga's ahead now. Squigga has to pop the shield before he gets wrecked there. Um, so you can oh, get no. Squigga down to half a heart. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't. That was so Man. bad. And Aqua Cats to the boss room. Squigga to the boss room. But Squigga's in horizontally. Oh, man, that Telemonkey. Oh, ho, ho. he got so lucky there that he didn't just straight up die. Oh, Aqua Cats. I'm the Dead Ringer. Um, and he's a little off the rails, but he's fine. He's got it. Use the uh, Blood Drum to get it started early. And he's going to be on the Necrodancer fight. Squega is going to be about, I would say, 20 beats behind here. Yeah, he's got to go. He's got 12 bombs. Aqua Cats. Uh, Aqua Cats is actually bombing. He, uh, he could have uh, tried the T, but. He's uh, instead opting to bomb. That's fine. That's no problem there. And he's on the Necrodancer fight. But I think that Aqua Cats should have this. He's already got two hits in. Uh, really hard to follow what's going on on Aqua Cats' side. Three hits, four hits now. And I was probably going to be GG in a moment here. And yeah, that's it. Aqua hey. Cats going to take race number one, but not by much. Like it came close. Very close, yes. Right, there goes Squigger. Yep. Huge time difference. Oh, minute 30. 
yeah, we'll see if we can't get Aqua Cats to uh, do something with his uh, slide show. Here. That, that was just hard to watch. But I mean, that was that was also an incredible comeback. After I don't know if he died early or if he reset. Um, but regardless, he was down two or three floors and charged back with a very strong build, uh, giving him his fourth point of the tournament. Not 43rd, fourth. <laughs> 43rd. Uh. Yeah. Aqua Cats looking to join Spooty as uh, the only racers with six. Impressive. Yeah. Oh, Aqua Cat's having trouble with his PC. Yeah, it's heating up. Yeah. It's like this race. <laughs> Very much so. I mean, that. Hopefully, he can do something. That looks good. What 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 is what I'm seeing on his screen looks good right now. So he should be okay. Boy. So let's see what happens in race number two. Uh, seats are in. Aqua Cat's up 1-0 one, one so far. Very exciting first race. I mean, that that was that was fantastic. Definitely. Both putting on a good show. Mm -hmm. Let's see what this seed holds for them. It just seemed like Squega had a hard time getting a weapon that he was comfortable with and ended up having to run that blunderbuss. Whereas Aqua Cats, he, had, he eventually, I don't know where he found that uh, Obsidian Rapier, but somewhere that was the three. difference. Yeah. All right, here we go. Race number two. And we're underway. Squega starting slightly ahead here. But that is a much better view on Aqua Cat's side. He, yeah, he's definitely dropped his bit rate, and this is a lot easier to watch. So, okay, that's thank you, Aqua Cat. Very good. I don't know why he opened the Bat Cave there. He knew it was a Bat Cave, and he opened it anyway. It's been an item in there. Uh, in a blue Bat Cave? Hey, maybe. No, red. those yep. are only red Bat Caves. Both of them skipping oh. the, uh, the shop on 1-1. One, one. Uh, I don't think either of them got a chance to see it, though. Uh, I don't think anyone opened it. I think it was like, just above where the stairs was. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I not the first time I've seen that happen. Definitely something you want to check too because that could be darkness in there. Uh, you could get some OP weapon from the arena early on. A lot of good things could happen, but if you don't see it, yep. you don't see it. Aqua Cat's going to kill for this. And judging from the items in the shop, this is probably just to get the blood drum, to be honest. Uh, the Czar Charm and the Monocle. The, that's actually a nice pair. And yeah, he's going to get favorite. he's gonna get peace that uh, Squega did not find. And there is darkness in here, and he's going to get rid of it right away. This is so good for Aqua Cats. Definitely. Squega's already on the boss. Yep, it is Deep yeah, Blues. Is. He's going to go up third rank, or third file, I guess. And blows up the boss. Doesn't know what's in any of these chests, but uh, he's gonna, uh the yes, that's pretty good. That's oh, a titanium, titanium long sword. Good damage, good range. So over Good damage, good range. Terrible two-one layout. Oh yep. God! Look at this. This is awful. That is really bad. Oh, Aqua so Cats. I hope you're them. screen watching here because that'll save you a lot of time if you are. In fact, that was something uh, that I saw earlier in the Mud Joe's races. He did a ton of, of screen watching to the point where in two races he reset because he saw his opponent get something that he didn't find. That's a quick exit room. Oh, he's got the map. He doesn't need to. He doesn't care. We probably have That's another potion. potion here. and we'll, we'll see. A potion really didn't matter for Squega last time. But he's gonna get a freebie this time with the dragon. That's it definitely mattered for Aqua Cats. And there is an obsidian, obsidian cat. cat. Very strong, very fast weapon. So uh, we'll see what happens here. Blowing up the mushroom, blows up the boss for Aqua Cats. He's on to 2 2. 
Uh, it's about a floor and a half behind. And he's going to actually bomb for this. He doesn't know it's a red dragon. Um, he will take That's the armor, nice though. So uh, Aqua Cats, I'd say, has a safer build for sure. Yeah. But Squega armor can fly piece. with this build. Um, all Squega really needs at this point, I would say, are goo boots and armor. And he's fine. Aquas is... His stream is going a bit. Yeah, it's, it's, it's having issues, but it's not like it was before. I mean, this is this is still semi watchable. True. Uh, Open the moon, go rift. Yep. Aqua Cats. Well, he, he was a he was a, a, ha a floor and a half down. He's now, I'd say, maybe less than half floor down. He's not gonna get a flawless here though. He took he got dunked by a couple of tentacles and by Coral Rift himself now. Um, so that I armor, think, uh, armor definitely helping. Oh yeah, that fireball was. Oh, Dead that that could helps. that could be a huge difference actually. Getting that fireball Ooh, and Aqua Cat's not going to get it. Um, yeah, Blast Helm. Both racers should get this. Uh, that'll be the end of. Oh, look out! Okay, he's fine. Yeah, that'll be the end of the uh, monocle for Aqua Cat's. He's taking another hit. I mean, he he can afford it. He's got the. He's got, He's got the potion, but I mean, the, there is a limit to how much you can take, and hopefully, it'll be all right. Um, Squaga dropping down to three threes, regained. Well, they're both on three three. Aqua Cats actually slightly ahead. It's gonna come down to who goes the right way here. And Aqua Cats with the map, uh, he should get down to his own three boss first. Squaga is going up to the show. Yes, he, he, he needs to. Board. Yeah, you have to blow that up. You need that armor. He doesn't have the goo boots yet, but having that heavy plate. Um, that should give him a lot more confidence, and he needs it. And he's going to be going completely the wrong way here. Uh, Squega spending a lot of time on zone three just simply because he did not pick up darkness on one three. Yep. And that's probably going to be the difference here. He's going to pick up that extra damage. That's really good with an obsidian because that guarantees you have two damage. Definitely. Aqua, Aqua using one. his potion. Had a little trouble with one of the rooms, but he is, I, I would say he's flying at this point. He has got 10 bombs. He's got the option to take more. He's not going to, though. So it took a blood drone, so yeah. Echo Dance is not going to be that much of a problem. No, this is, Story this is, I, 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 I can't imagine a world right now where Squega wins with Aqua Cats not dying. Uh, this, this one, he, he is going really fast. And he has a very strong build. And so unless he does something that gets him killed, um, Squega's really going to have to push. And yep. it's, it's a, yeah, it's, uh, like I said, I mean, it's not impossible that Aqua could die here. I mean, he's at two and a half hearts. He's got two go golems bearing down on him, the blue dragon in the room. Oh, sorry, uh, green dragon. That's green. right, because he's got he's got a uh, piece. Squega's picked up flight boots, so... Yeah, he's, no got yeah, he's got yeah. Squega, Squega has the build. He's got the build, but I just feel like Aqua Cats is just going too fast right now to to be caught. Oh, Squega, be careful! Oh, build. he's lost his potion now. So, ooh, this little clinchy there. But he's on four three. But he's about half a floor down at this point. Aqua Cats just taking care of the nightmare. Right. And we have another really close race here. That's on Deathbringer. Squig is almost falling up there. Yeah, he's. Uh, I mean, this is about. This is about as close as the last race was when we got to Deadringer. Uh, again, another right side dead, uh, Deadringer here. So, uh, Squega is luring. No, he's fireballing. Hi. Oh, he's fireballing. Oh. Well done, Squega. Very good fireball strat on his side. Um, might be too little too late, though. Aqua Cat's already on phase two of the Necrodancer after uh, bombing out and the using the first hit there. Uh, he's got three hits. Squega, because he didn't get the blood shop, he had to... Uh, he had to dig him out. And Aqua Cat's going to take yeah. race number two again by the skin of his teeth. I mean, these are super close races. Definitely. Um, I said they're high player, high level players, so. Indeed. And uh, the theme in both of them has been Aqua Cat's taking his time to 
get his build, and once he has his build, he just takes off. Uh, Squega actually had the stronger build in the end, but Aqua Cats, I mean, peace was a big factor, mapping was a big factor. Um, th there were a lot of things that worked out in Aqua Cats' favor there, and that's why he took that one too to nothing now. Um, and Squega, uh, I said he could take a point, and the way that he's racing, I still believe that, but uh, he's possible. running out of chances. So hopefully, if he, if he wants to get a point out of this race, he's he's going to need to keep That's doing what he's hard. doing and do it faster. <laughs> yeah, I don't think the blood drum was necessarily the thing that won him the race, but it certainly, it certainly saved him time over what Squega was doing, because Squega couldn't get that first hit. He had to blow him up. Get him off the stage. It's like a good seed. 8881191. Oh, what's that 9 doing there? Get that 9 out of there. <laughs> that 9. Because then it could be 8s and aces. Shrine of Darkness was huge. Like, I, I could think of two cases where Squega lost a lot of time because he did not have that mapping. That would be the beginning of 2-1, when the layout was just utter crap, and 3-3, where he went the wrong way twice. He ended up in the shop the first time and ended up at the bottom of the map the second time. Whereas Aqua Cats, he had Darkness, so he knew where to go. Uh, I had to straight times. there. Yeah, I mean, the 2-1 wasn't even an issue for him. I mean, 2-1, oh, well, I go this way. And we have race number three in our way. An immediate Infernal Torch. Um, looks like Aqua should find it here. Otherwise, rather pedestrian start. We get a green dragon. Oh, Squega, no! Oh, 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 no! He is done. He's going to have to reset. Oh, that monkey, though. Oh, that's so sad. Uh, monkeys ruin everything. <laughs> they do. I don't want to have to start a monkey counter again. That was that was, that was <laughs> season four. <laughs> oh, I remember that. I think you were I think you were here casting that with me, if I remember uh, correctly. I think it like the counter ended up like a. It was double digits. I remember that. Um, another blood shot, but this time he's only gonna go in and get the uh, crown of thorns. What did he do? I didn't see what he did. Squigga is going for the shot as well, but it was split. No, Squigga is no. not going for the shot. Oh. What was that, anyways? He got a monocle out of the. Uh, out of something. Oh, oh, I see where he got it. Squigga did not go for the bow, though. Yeah. Uh, Squigga is checking out there. the shop here. Anything. You can't kill him, so... Mm -hmm. Oh, he's learned a dragon then. Oh, That's quite yeah. So he should be able to pick up the uh, rapier and possibly get a good enchant off of it. Um, but first he's, he's going to have to deal with this dragon. Uh, meanwhile, in the arena, it looks like that Aquacats is going to pick up a jeweled dagger. So he's sitting on five damage right now in zone one. Oh... You can't even got blood rapier. Yes. Um, why didn't Squigga get one? One of what? He didn't get the jewel dagger. I'm confused. I am super I think, confused. I think Aqua used his enchant scroll on this on the dagger instead. Oh, is that what it was? Okay, that's how he got it. That's Check. Good. Got it. Um. So. Um. Yeah, Aqua Cats right now, this is going to be hard to catch up with, too, because he has seven hearts, eight containers, a jeweled dagger, crown of thorns, and phasing. Now, granted, Squega yeah, has phasing as well, but Squega, much less uh, safe build. He can't regain any health. He doesn't have all the health that Aqua Cats does, and he's carrying a glass weapon. Um... Lead boots, that's very good. Yeah, that, having yeah. the goo boots will be nice. Uh, 
and not be able to slip. Uh, Aqua Cat's taking a hit on the way down. He's down to five and a half. But he, he should be fine. He should be regenerating a whole bunch of that. Um, Ooh, there's, some, there's some darkness there. Does he? I, I would take the darkness. I, I don't know. Probably not Maybe. in this case, because yeah, he is he is behind. Um, uh, and Aquacats has a superior build, but Aquacats has to run around and figure out where the exit is. Um, I, I don't know. I, that's a tough call. I. Ooh, I'm not sure. Oh, here. well, yeah, he lost his life. Uh, Squega going Squega. down to deep blues, too. And now, Aquacats, this is yours to lose. Uh, as he is on to 3 2. Checks the it's shop real quick, nothing boots. there he wants. Yeah, that's that death is very costly. Uh, we didn't see, and then we didn't see, in fact, that's the first time Squega just died this entire race. This entire set. First day. So, uh, Aqua Cats looking to be the second person to 6 0 the week. Trying to figure out a way to get in there after uh, taking out the Banshee. That is, that is a troublesome exit room. I don't know why it doesn't just freeze. Maybe he wants to free save it for a better opportunity. I mean, he's got five hearts. If he needs another opportunity, that's a blood freeze right there. Uh, free. I mean, if he didn't want to freeze, he could shield. Uh, he's got spells. Definitely need to use spells if you have them. But I mean, on, on the on the on the other side of that, it's is he in a hurry? No, he's not. At this point, he 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 just want to play safe. Yep. Where he dead And they have a blue dragon up there. And there he's gonna freeze, and he'll be on to his coral rift three. Blood freeze and this. Stab, stab. Does uh, the blood good. freeze? Yep, exactly what you called. And he's still on four and a half hearts, which is very good. That's definitely that's more than the best, but that's pretty good for some four. Yep. Um, so we're looking at four bombs and a free spell. I mean, he could definitely do some blood freezes to get through these last rooms. Well, he's got more than four bombs now. Uh, he just picks up a three pack, so that's that'll definitely make this that much easier. Double bombs the dragon. Uh, has to take out the sarcophagi though. That could be... Ooh, be careful. Yeah. Don't get surrounded on goo. No goo boots, so that's going to yes. be quite problematic. Yeah, this is, this is actually a little scary. Although, he, he should be able to push the... Oh, he just blood freezes. I'm yeah, not sure he needed to... Do... He didn't need to do that. All he needed to do was try to run onto it, and if the, uh, if the guy got in the way, he could just push him out of the way. Of course, a harpy probably would take that spot then. Is that a blast helm? I think it was. I saw something great. I am so. pretty sure he just pissed up, uh, passed up a blast helm without realizing it. This is, it. It was not on the screen for very long. Look at this exit room. This is terrible. There's another one with three golems. Yes. He lures everything over to the right side so he can go in and He's head on down to way, four, three. Yep. Not taking the Mud Joe strat and place 4 3. <laughs> yeah, just wake it out completely. <laughs> Look at those exits. This is just another exit room that just, with phasing, it's just like, why? Why? I would do a Mud Joe here, though, if I was Aquacat. It's still, it's still an option. I mean, if you see this and think, okay, this is a big bucket of nope. You can just wait. Of course, keeping in mind... Oh, man, timed that perfectly to not get hit by the armadillo. He's on the Dead Ringer, and it's another right side Dead Ringer, so this should be pretty easy. Drops is flawless, but that's fine. He's got everything he needs for Necro. And barring anything uh, crazy, this should be a 3-0, because there should be no spawns on this fight. And he's got tons of health, so he can play much tank at all. Right, there's nothing to tank here. He blood. Uh, I don't even think he blood shielded there. He probably just got it in the bag now. Yep. It's a shame for Squigger, guys. He has done quite a good job. Yes. Oh, well, well. So much for the nothing spawns. Squigger down, down in zone three. 
Ugh, Skeleton Knight just pushing hard, I guess. And that's it. Aquacats taking the 3-0. This time in 8.06. 7.45 in game time. And uh, GG to Aquacats. Um, yeah, I, I gotta say, with the exception of that third race, Wega played very well. It just... Aquacats just played differently and ended up with better builds and faster builds and it went faster, so. Very good. All right, so uh, that's going to be it. Uh, I don't think the next race is for another few hours and I am going to be asleep for that, so I will not be casting that. Um, that's going to be, I believe, Cyber One and Flygleffet. Uh, Flygleffet, yep. by the way, taking over for uh, Ekane, uh, uh, Ekane's spot. Ekane. Ekane? Oh. That's bad. Um, Whatever his name is. So, so he's getting some uh, late races, and he's also got to play Mad Hyena this week. Um, and then there's a nice little slate of uh, races today. Uh, I would say that the biggest race that you guys are going to want to watch, and unfortunately no one has called for casting this yet, so if no one does, I might get it. Um, this is at 6 p.m. Eastern. It's Oblivion versus Mud Joe. Oh, no, man. And that is going to be an amazing set of three. Um, Oblivion is also playing Squega as well. I, am, I imagine that the Dark Freak may be taking both of those Maybe. since they're back to back. Um, oh, I might, I might steal them myself. But yeah, and there's still three that haven't been scheduled yet, um, or two that haven't been scheduled yet. And we mentioned Flagleff and the other one, Little Big Liker, uh, a newer racer. He's got a. Uh, well, he, he just had a terrible draw this week. He got Mud Joe earlier, and he's playing Invert as well. So, oh. Yeah, that's, that's that going to be unlucky. Uh, yeah. But, uh, yeah, uh, thank you guys for watching, and uh, hope to see you guys soon. Later. Good job, guys.